英語聞き流しリスニング、英語テキストと MP3 ダウンロード、その他の物語はホームページからお聞きいただけます。88thpp.com I wrote about my new glasses and my first ever glasses. My eyesight has grown considerably worse. The glasses I've used for a long time no longer fit to my deteriorated eyesight. I went to get new glasses the other day for the first time in years. During the course of years when I had paid no attention to the glasses market, the stores have become modern and sophisticated, looking like boutiques. Several different chains have their stores inside the shopping mall. They carry cool frames at the low price that people could never dream of years ago. An eyesight test was done inside the store and didn't use an eye chart but some sort of a high tech machine. The glasses were prepared only in 20 minutes. I had dreaded how much the new pair would cost, but they charged me far less than I had braced for. I had never imagined getting glasses would be this easy. My new pair is nifty and incredibly light. My face looks so different. With my new sharp vision, I feel like I have transformed myself into a new me. I had my first close encounter with glasses when I was in the second grade. I failed an annual eyesight test at school, and the school required a further examination at the doctor's office. That sent my mother into a near panic. Back in those days, one of the unbelievably stupid things people said in a rural area was that a girl with glasses couldn't marry and so had no life in the future. My mother said to me, If you need glasses, it'll be the end of your life. I was headed for the doctor's office trembling with fear with my friend who had also failed the test. After the examination, the receptionist simply let my friend go, and then said to me, Your glasses will be ready soon. Come get them at the store next to this office. As casually as that, she handed me a death sentence. I couldn't face the fact and told a lie to my mother that my eyes were fine. Since then, I hadn't been able to sleep thinking that the doctor's office would call for my glasses. Every single phone ring made me jump. My coward lie served me a couple of uneasy months, but the call didn't come after all. My glasses were smothered up. When I was 18, I needed glasses to get a driver's license. I came back to the store next to the doctor's office and, finally, a decade later, got my first pair there. While I took a load off my mind at last, I failed a driving test this time. Only the glasses were left, and I had cherished them up until my new pair. <laughs> Audiobook, Japanese Dream by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. It took my partner and I the whole past year to put together a book by selecting stories about my family from Hitomi's rambling, writing some new stories, and re editing them. When the book was close to go on sale, My partner found out about Amazon Breakthrough Award and was lured onto an entry for it. His excitement about it was caused by a $50,000 advance for the winner. There were several qualifications for the entry. Firstly, it had to be fiction. Secondly, no selection or collection from what had been already published was allowed. Lastly, its author had to be one person. We pondered a lot and came to the reluctant conclusion that we regarded our book as an i novel, although everything written in there was what really happened. Also, we decided to stop the publication of our existing Hitomi's Rambling ebooks at Kindle. We cleared the two qualifications, but the last one was a toughie. Since we had published everything in the name of 88th Planet that is a unit name, we needed to change the author name to my name, Hitomi Woods. That drew an argument between us over who wrote the stories. They were mixed with what I wrote on my own from the beginning to the end, and what my partner chose interesting experiences of mine, wrote down outlines in Japanese, And then I constructed them to the whole story in English by adding details. Considering his involvement, it wasn't fair to eliminate his name from the author. To make it consistent, we also considered using my name for our music in place of the unit name. We had been talking about it seriously for a few weeks. Ridiculously enough, we even talked about how we would split the prize money of $50,000. 
I had been moping for the demise of Hidami's rambling e-books even though they hardly sold. When we settled on Hidami Woods for the author name and everything for the entry was prepared at last, my partner found out that there was a length qualification. Our book was simply too short for the entry. We were brought back to our senses and gave up the entry. I regretted our useless deliberations and felt disappointed about losing $50,000 that we wouldn't have won even if we had entered the competition. The funniest thing was our desperate attitude toward a blog that we had started as a break from music in the first place. Our e-books are on sale as before and the new book has been published, as non-fiction, but in the name of Hedemi Woods like a relic of the foolish fuss. Audiobook, Japanese Dream by Hedemi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple, Audible, Google Play, Nook Audiobooks, 43 available distributors in total. Audiobook, The Family in Kyoto, One Japanese Girl Got Freedom by Hitomi Woods on sale at online stores or apps. Apple Books, Google Play, Audible, 43 available distributors in total. Ego Kikinaga Shi Listening, Ego Text to MP3 Download, Sono Hoka no Monogatari, Home Page Kara O Kiki Tada Kemas. 88thpp.com 88thpp.com